Hi, I'm DK Will. This is DK Will Talk About It. And based on the response from an earlier video that I did on an update for the status of the Iraqi dinar, I'm doing this video as well. And the purpose of this video is just to share information that uh, the Narians would be, I think, happy to get and see and become aware of. Uh, some of it is probably familiar with some of the viewers, some of it may not be. And the other uh, purpose of the video is to help others see ways that they can dig in themselves and, you know, click here and there and search the here and there and maybe come up with information. And then the ability to put it all together, to come up with a plan with a more panoramic landscape view, a geopolitical view, a monetary system view, to be able to put it all together and in so doing maybe even gain a better measure of patience and even a better measure of understanding when things just don't go the way we want them to go. And aside from that, go the way we want them to go, I'll address the um, naysayers and negative comments that sometimes show up in this uh, arena, this forum of discussion. Negative, hateful comments are not welcome on my channel. I'm a new channel, and I'd, I'm not going to sacrifice my character or integrity just to get more viewers. If you come on my channel and you make negative character assaults of any kind, it's probably not going to be welcome. If you put posts on my channel that are not vetted links recommending the services of somebody else, it's going to be removed. But if you want to speak on the subject matter at hand, I encourage you to comment. I encourage you to share your thoughts. I love the intellectual stimulation from others' ways of thinking. I love others' interpretations. But remember, only a positive spirit is accepted here. And I'll talk to myself on screen with my current level of old, just over 50-some subscribers, if that's what it takes, for to maintain a positive uh, spirit in this video. Um, positive ads and negative takes away. So be positive. Holly, Holly Frank and Moore, Monday, 823. And this is one of the same sources I used before. Actually, it was here, I did the dark recaps, and then they sent a letter out. You can click and post on it. And I went to find this one because uh, I like to read what it says. It's kind of like a collection. But Holly, Monday, RV News, she says, your struggle is over. We have climbed the mountain. It has been a long, tiring uphill journey, but we have made it. Ain't that the truth, if that's true? It's time to cross to the other side and reap the rewards of our journey. It's been an honor to be at the helm and guide you through these years. May my words of wisdom echo as you venture on your own paths. May you be good stewards of this wealth, and may we all come together to heal this world and humanity. For that has been our purpose, and we have waited patiently for this moment in time. Where are we? The news from all my sources is we have crossed the threshold and we have finally arrived at our long-awaited time to come to the table. The funds have been flowing through the different levels. They will hit our level this week. Temper this information, folks. Don't get too excited. But this is important. Remember to be quiet when you exchange. You do not have to tell anyone where you got your money from. Be safe and be careful of the scam artists that will prey upon you. Now more than ever, do not give your currency or post exchange funds to anyone. Be very discerning with the people you choose to do business with and associate with after you exchange. This is not a transition. This is a transition, excuse me, not a transaction. We are ready to transmit from our old way of being to a new way. Give yourself time to adjust. This week will be the start of many new beginnings. Hallelujah. Thank God for getting you to this point and giving you the strength to go the distance. All we do going forward is for the honor and glory of our Father. It's not about me or you, but about being in service to God our Father. Your heart, mind, and spirit have been readied for this next phase of your life. Do well and prosper. Positive vibe. What else we got? Holly's not alone. Mark Z is rather popular amongst the uh, communicators. And Mark uh, made the comment here. 
I have three different large groups that are expecting currency exchanges to start somewhere around 2 p.m. Eastern today. Uh, that would be now, Central, where I'm at. Most of these are in the Reno area and are expecting the first liquid funds. We'll see how that goes. These contacts in different groups that have no relation to each other. I'm hearing the same thing from a number of them. The ones expecting funding today are currency groups, some of the large church type groups. These are not bond groups, but currency aggregating groups, a combination of dinar and dong, not zim. And that's what I did detect. Multiple sources are getting kind of like the same information. And I will say again, folks, just like what Holly said, you know, this is a transition, not a transaction. And, and sometimes misinformation is necessary because there's a lot of bad guys out there. So if you're happy with the status quo of the globe and the monetary systems and the debt-based slavery system that we've been living in, um, you probably lack the patience to benefit from this. Um, but if you bring a good vibe and you know what was it all said, patience is a virtue, well then you'll be here and you'll probably survive and do well going forward. But just remember, folks, positive ads, negative takes away. Mark goes on to say there's a tremendous push to finish over the next coming days. I do not know if it will happen or not, but in my opinion, we will get a lot of static or news on what to expect hitting us today. So he's, uh, he's careful, you know, and I, I'm careful too. I'm a messenger. I'm sharing this information. I'm putting it all together for people to enjoy. I hope you enjoy and benefit from it. But don't uh, don't go out and sell the house, <laughs> you know. Wait wait until you know for sure. Now I also mentioned that, um, and I'm leaving this there so you can read it. I don't want to be your teacher and read everything to you. Um, but I will read the parts that I think are of benefit. Um, rumors are out there of a dinar rate of 1980. Mark says, I don't believe this is accurate. I have seen those, they have seen those high rates on bank screens. Rates keep changing still. We have seen all kinds of things, but I do not think it is realistic. Could it be true? I guess it could be. There's a video I have shared thousands of times from Dr. Shabibi. He says the country could support a dinar rate in the 20s based on their assets. I actually shared that in a comment reply on my previous video dinar update and he actually made that statement in 2011 I thought it was $16 maybe it was 20 I didn't watch it I just posted it again in response to a comment of um, incredulous uh, approach to if whether or not it's possible I say keep your minds open folks this is not something that's happened before and keep your balance now, I also mentioned, too, though, once again, I'm leaving it there so you can read it. You know, we can dig and we can point and we can click and we can gather information. And I put the links always in the description of my videos. And so every place I go on this video will be down there, too. And some places I'm going there to share the information. Other places I'm going just so to set you off to be the spark for you to go and to see how you can go and find information. And so you've seen that I uh, get this uh, newsletter from Dinar Recaps. And of course, when I click on it, I end up in Dinar Recaps. And you can see there's choices here to choose from as well. And then, of course, the articles I'm reading are from there. And you can choose to read them, too, because there's multiple sources. An earlier one that I used was called Dinar Guru. And the reason I did it is because um, it has a collection of what a lot of people are saying now do you make your monetary decisions based on what somebody told you on the internet I hope not or just something you read on the internet I hope not but if you want to take in information and then mold through that information and determine what seems true and what seems false you know it's good to be able to go and look and see what they say and in some instances go check it out and so here you can see the words of uh, very many of them. The link will be in the description for the sake of time. This has already taken longer than I thought it would. Um, I'm not going to read any of this, but I am going to show you that this one puts together what a lot of them are saying. 
okay there's no reason to judge this site anyway in a negative way it's just sharing information information that it also shares is over here it always shares the going rate right here um, and that's just you know you go to the library and there's a fiction section and there's a history section and a science section you decide what section to put the information in in your library of knowledge sorry how did I do that but at the same time um, if you don't have the information you don't have any knowledge uh, here's another one news now I like this one I like news now and I'll tell you why I like news now because it pulls in news from all over the world here you can see an Iraqi flag a United States flag here you can see a Turkey flag here you can see Iraq flag again and as you go down here's a Great Britain flag and a United Kingdom and you can see here I'm on the United Kingdom edition why not try our US edition I don't want to because I don't trust the US media I don't necessarily trust the UK media either but I'm not gonna follow the path that's laid out for me just to get the information because I might get information they're not willing to share in the US because here we also have the Canada flag and so I like this site because I, it gets me all over the world into checking into things and then along the sidebar when I'm going on here uh, it disappeared but along the sidebar it tends to have other in the news now links here on the right side that may direct you somewhere else and this obviously can be done a lot faster than what I'm doing it right now but you know I'm just showing you how you can go and get information here's some Middle East stories there's Israel's flag and here we got ship erupts in the flame the United Arab Emirates flag down here we have Turkey I mean excuse me that's Belgium Turkey stories flag here we have the United Arab Emirates again down here we have Qatar's flag so you follow me so you can you can put these things together there's India you can put these things together and you can come to your own conclusions or come to no conclusion at all just have a wealth of knowledge in your head that one day you'll put together this is another one. It requires a translator, but it's the Iraqi News Gazette. It's the Iraq News Gazette. So I go there and I look to see if there's any information here that's worthy of me clicking on to see if, you know, I can tie in what I heard or read one place with what I'm reading here. And so that's the way to do it. And then, of course, we always have the government of Iraq, which also may require a translating program but it gives you information from the government's perspective um, there we go I did that again <laughs> sorry um, but this is the way you get a picture of what's going on with a more comprehensive viewpoint not relying on any one particular source or any one particular guru and then of course if you're interested in the Iraqi dinar you certainly should be interested in what their central bank has to say which also will take a uh, translator program but you can go here to the website directly of the CBI the Central Bank of Iraq and you can uh, always uh, scroll down and you can see here there's the rate right there 1460 USD and you know whether or not they're gonna put it here ahead of time or after the fact we don't know but it's another source of information and then I have more um, this one here before its news is a good site uh, you get information you know according to the title of the information before its news and uh, when you when you click on the area that you want to go to um, you can decide if there's any information in there and basically it's putting everything together and for you so you can make some decisions I also have been known to go to this site here Dinar updates it'll also be in the link I can't remember my sign in on this uh, new laptop I have to go to my old laptop where it probably has it in the memory but you can go here to these blogs and current Iraqi news and Iraqi 101 in-depth analysis questions discussions and rumors I found this interesting to go to um, and like I said it gives you uh, news and information from more than just one source and then we're all intelligent people put it together and see what you think and then there's another one here Dinar Vets now this is by no means comprehensive I'm just showing some of them where you can go and you can become a part of and that you can maybe get some information or some notifications according to your liking, according to your uh, schedule. 
you know, according to your frequency. I, you know, there comes a limit to how many times I want somebody to bing me up or hit me up with a notification. And I'm sure many of you feel the same way. And there are so many out there that you can go to and you can put it all together and you can see if it helps you create a scenario and a picture of what's going on. Or you can come over here to uh, DK Will talk about it <laughs> and I'll talk about it and I'll share it with you but my goal is not just to share information my my goal is to enlighten entertain you know um, educate for sure open the mind open the perception uh, shift the paradigms because when you've lived in a system that has been lying to you Sometimes the hardest thing to do first is acknowledge that they've been lying to you and a lot of the things that you believed were true are false. And so let's keep looking for the light on DK Will Talk About It. And I'm DK Will. Please like, please subscribe. Please remember some of the links out there for you to go and start your journey and see how it helps you and I will uh, try to put out more information on the uh, what's going on here <laughs> I keep doing that I will try to put out more information on the Iraqi dinar because I know that uh, real community engagement apparently suffered a hit of some sort um, so I'll try to uh, fill in some of that blank I guess um, but folks, there's a lot of information out there, a lot of ways to go and find out what's going on yourself. You can't trust the media. I don't think you can trust the media in any country. And they do try to keep one country's media from another country's knowledge. But the monetary system is happening all around us, and that's a whole other video. And for some reason, the U.S. is being kept in the dark. And so those of us in the U.S. have to be even more vigilant and diligent and trying to find out what's going on out there because they're trying to feed us what they want us to know but sometimes what they're feeding us is not what we need to know so thank you for watching my video you guys have a wonderful day i'm dk will this is dk will talk about it